Hey guys, this is Rough Rooster Knife Sharpening. Um, this is going to be a little lengthy video, so you might want to pause it, go get you some popcorn, get you something to drink, whatever. Um, some of you guys have been asking about grits and American versus Japanese, etc., etc. And I had said in one of my comments to a certain viewer that I was later going to do a video on it. Well, here's later. Um, this is going to be kind of an in-depth, advanced, basic, grit, mesh, micron, kind of, you know, more than a crash course here, but, um, first of all, I told you guys that I was going to, uh, tell y'all a little bit more in depth about the compounds that I was using and about compounds. Um, that flex cut gold that I was using, it's a titanium dioxide and it's a mixture between six micron and 0.3 micron. Um, so you got, you got quite a bit of metal removal going on there and a polish at the same time. It's just a good, real, good general purpose, um, compound. You wouldn't want to use it heavily, but it's just, for, you know, touch ups and things like that. Uh, so you've kind of got a bunch of different grits just jumbled in there. You really don't know what all you're using. That's the reason you wouldn't want to narrow that down in a certain category. Um, and I'm going to get to that here in a second. Um, green compound, which is chromium oxide, contains a lot of chrome in it. They say it can make you sick. I don't know. Usually it's 0.5 micron, but this is only if you get good, good stuff. Um, and you know, the reason I say get good stuff, you know, don't get on eBay and get that shit from China that you get two little, two or three little blocks like this big for a dollar thirty nine or two dollars, because there's a lot of fillers in that stuff. There's a lot of contaminants and wax and chalk and you just you don't know what you're going to get. And the reason I say you want to know what you're going to get is like if you come off a of Black Arkansas or a Tracera Waterstone, you know that this is like a thousand grit or like roughly one micron let's say, and then you get this green compound that's supposed to be 0.5 micron. Well, what if it's point th or what if it's three microns because it's got a bunch of shit in it? Then you're backpedaling and you've just wasted a bunch of time. You want to know what your grit progression is, guys. That's how I get these things so sharp is I don't guess and be like, well, this is two micron. Well, I'm going to go to a nine micron drop and then I'm going to jump back over here to a translucent. It, it doesn't work like that. Like I said, you've got to remove previous scratch patterns um, and make new ones, more refined scratch patterns, and start polishing. But there again, polished edges don't always work, as you guys seen on this. Um, polished, the polished edge is all right on CTS 24P, but it, it likes more of a bite. Um, let's see here. Okay, well, let me let me get this out of the way here. Stropping with sandpaper on a mouse pad. Guys, if you've got that, throw that shit in the trash can. And I'm gonna explain why. Um, okay, you guys know there's different grits of sandpaper, obviously. Now, if you've ever looked at, let's say, a piece of 60 grit sandpaper, you can see all all that roughness okay think about that on a microscopic level with a knife edge on it and putting it up and dragging it across it okay if you've got a really fine edge and you've got all this all these little sands you know think about it like putting sand on this paper right here and dragging it across it it's going to and you're going to hear it and you're just going to be like Ugh because it's microscopically chipping your edge. Guys, I have tried this several times on several different steels. It don't work. It does not work. Um, now, if you get up towards like 2000 grit with like a convex edge, it, it does all right, but in my opinion, I would not use it. Um, 
that's much better to use a stone or whatever else you got in my opinion um, I just this this is one of the experiments that I've done and it was just a failed miserable attempt that's this is this is what I sharpened that bark river on that you see way down at the bottom of the videos that is a piece of shit it was a two tool steel and it, it it was bad anyway it uh, I don't think it works well so my recommendation would be adopt a new method don't waste your money um, anyway let's go on to the next one okay first of all see this little H looks like an H but it's not all right yeah that is the symbol for a micron okay let's go back to science class for a few minutes okay a micron is short for a micrometer a unit of length equal to one millionth one millionth of a millimeter also a micron ANSI derived unit of length equaling one times ten dash six one millionth okay that is a very 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 small measurement um, let's see here and I'm gonna go over these charts I'm just explaining what this is so you guys can follow along and for you guys that that already know this just bear with me um, mesh you know you guys see um, like the DM stone DMT stones they'll say it's 320 grit and 9 microns and then 14 mesh. I just threw some numbers out there. That's not the accurate thing. And some of you guys are like, oh, okay, well, you know, it's 600 grit. That's good. Okay, and that's fine. But some people go by micron. Some people go by grits. Some people use both, depending for whatever reason. Um, mesh is, is pretty cool. Um, mesh is a count of number of evenly spaced openings in one square inch which is grit identity I have cut a one by one piece of uh, paper here okay this is a three by eight stone okay see that little square out there this is what DMT uses mesh is, is a measurement that they use or a thing that they use I should say and they'll get a random spot on this stone and go eh. we want to find out how many grits is right there and then they'll do this on multiple stones and then they'll be like okay you know we've done this on 15 different stones and it's right at 320 grit So that's what the stone's going to be grit wise. But the mesh looks like micron, but it's not. Just follow me here. I've got a complex chart and a simple chart. Um, I'm going to try to explain this the best I can here. Okay. The highest that I've went here, a thousand. Um, or a hundred thousand grit is zero to zero point five which is a half a micron or which is mesh I'm sorry and then a quarter of a micron a quarter would be 0.25 micron um, and then let's see here and then I've got 240 grit 50 to 60 mesh which would be 55 microns that's pretty coarse 
that's grittier than this and I, I didn't go any lower on this particular one because I'm going to cover it over here and this is a more complex chart and this is going to be a simpler chart and I'll show you guys here real quick it's kind of confusing but it's very simple also you can see the comparison right there simpler chart we're just going to eliminate the mesh because I mean you really don't need that that's just another measurement another unit of measurement that can be used okay as I said before 0.25 this is American this is metric um, the 0.25 and then the quarter which is the same thing just two different units obviously got a hundred thousand which is 0.25 microns 50,000, which is 0.5 microns, which is half of that, obviously. 14,000, which is one micron. 6,500, which is 3.5 microns. 4.5 thousand, five microns. 1.8 thousand, nine microns. You get the gist. There's the simple chart. This is American grit. Now, most of you guys know the ANSI stands for American National Standards Institute. And I can never remember this other one. I have wrote it down. Japanese is JIS, which is Japanese or Japan International Standard, I believe. If I'm wrong, correct me on that. Um, and guys, uh, let me point something out here to you. If you look on a lot of Norton's grit charts or sharpeningsupplies.com grit charts or whatever, um, there, there's a lot of different charts, but most of them contains Arkansas stones. Not a lot of them will say like Shapton or Chosera or this or that or whatever. Um, you know, guys, this you know these Arkansas stones that I use are they're still there it's just getting to be kind of you know forgotten knowledge and the reason it's getting to be that way is because most people don't have the patience for these things and they they yield some of the best edges that can be produced and uh, I was, you know, if you're if you're really wanting to get in this, take time to learn this. Um, but I just wanted to point that out that, you know, a lot of the the grit charts contain like black Arkansas or translucent Arkansas, and it's that way for a reason. You know, they were here long before all this synthetic stuff that's coming out or that has come out. And there's nothing wrong with a lot of that. I'm just saying, you know, I've I've yet to to find much of anything that can produce as good of an edge as a uh, a black Arkansas on most things and guys I've used Shapton stones I've used a lot of Chosera stuff um, the Nano or Niowa however you pronounce that I've used a couple of those and they're alright but they're not they're not as smooth as this natural stuff they're just not and you know you can change the surface the grit surface of these things and uh, it's very very in depth and I'm going to show you guys how to do that later in a, another video um, I've started on it a little bit but um, let's see here this is another th this one's kind of complex here I'll show you guys the run down what I got here. Let me go ahead and turn this out. Well, I'm not either. This is the bottom of the chart. And I started going further, but I decided not to. Oh man, I dropped 
dropped it. This is the top of the chart. Now this is more in depth. Okay. First of all, I've got a comparison here. The ANSI versus the JIS. So, and it, it's it's hard to do this, guys. Um, it, it really is. Um, the Japanese or the Japanese standard, they, as compared to the American, their grit is always higher. So, guys, these stones, these Japanese naturals that you see, that, uh, and I've, I've used them, I have, and I have compared them to other things that say it's like 120,000 grit, it's not. And, you know, you're going to get into Japanese naturals and all this, and it's it's very, very complex. Like, they'll, I can't even think of a name, but they'll have like two or three names. Well, this one means it come from this mountain range, and this come from this quarry, and this is the name of this, and da-da-da-da-da. And, guys, like I said, I've used the Japanese naturals, and they're nothing more than a medium to low grade Arkansas stone that's been polluted with contaminants like chalk or talc, um, limestone, they're just, it's not there. And I don't know. I've got, uh, I cannot remember the name of these things to save my life. These are Japanese slurry stones. And I want to say this is a fine Amakuska, and this is a coarse Amakuska. And I'm going to show you guys how I use them later on. It, they kind of work, but I don't know. I'll explain that in a different video. But anyway, like we're going to go with 5.5 .5 micron here, which in American, 1,200 grit. Japanese, it's 2,500 grit. It's like the King Waterstones. They're notorious for underrating their stones. Like I've got an 800 grit king stone down here, water stone. It's way more than 800 grit. It's like 1200 grit, but it cuts good. You know, that's the down or that's the upside to it. So 0.5 micron and a lot of this comes from me and a lot of it comes from information that I've compiled elsewhere. And it took a while to make all this. Um, Natural stones are kind of hard to pinpoint a grit. You just got to kind of use or kind of use what you have to understand it. Um, like with with my black Arkansas, my tablet just about fell again, guys. Sorry. Just like with my black Arkansas that I have, I finished a knife on it and went to my one micron strop. And it dulled it from the black Arkansas. Um, but I, like I said, I've changed the surface of a lot of these things too. It's super, 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 super duper fine. So um, this is what I put together here. 0.5 micron. Um, let me flip this over here. I have to flip back and forth here because this is almost impossible to remember all of it. 0.5 micron, which 100,000 grit. JIS says that that's 30,000 grit. Huge difference. I've got that listed um, as the green chromium oxide. 0.5 micron. 0.9 micron, uh, blue black Arkansas which would be this. This thing right here is super crazy fine. That's the finest great Arkansas stone you can get, period. I, I can't even explain 
how smooth that is to you. Um, and another thing that you guys can do, just for other reference, get a jeweler's loop and check out the surface of the stone. That does not lie. Um, and then like if you were to check out a medium Arkansas, it's going to be more porous than this one. This thing right here has zero pores in it until you get to such a microscopic level it really don't even matter anymore. This thing does, does it just beads up water and almost runs it off. Um, so that's a blue black Arkansas. 1.2 micron, which is 8,000 grit in Japanese. Black Arkansas, which I have that listed. Let's see here. 1.2 micron. So that's going to be somewhere around 13,000 grit. Japanese has it listed as 8,000. A translucent Arkansas. I've got it listed as 4.5 micron. Which is... Five thousand grit, roughly. A hard white Arkansas. These things kind of depend, because there's a bunch of different variations of hards. Um, and I've got them listed anywhere from a thousand grit to twelve hundred. It just depends. Um, again, eleven point five micron is a thousand. JIS and 12 micron is 800 ANSI. Um, and then, for instance, I'm just going down this chart here and telling you kind of what stones I have listed as to what grit micron Japanese it is. Um, soft Arkansas and extra fine India stone and put them in the same category. It'd be about 400 grit. Um, it should roughly be about 675-ish, maybe 650 in Japanese. The Washita and the Fine India, I'm going to put them at about 360 grit JIS, which would be 35 micron. And those are pretty damn coarse. They'll rip some metal off. Uh, the Washita will. The Fine India, you can finish on it. You can also finish on the Washita, but it's kind of a coarse uh, finish. I would put those... The Fine India, they claim to be about 600 grit. I disagree with that. Uh, I would put them somewhere around 250 275 grit um, a fine Norton crystalline crystalline stone we're going to put it about 300 grit guys I have messed up here I apologize that Washita and the fine India is about right. I meant to put it up here closer to the soft Arkansas and the extra fine India. Scratch that. So it will be closer to the 500 grit range. Sorry. Um, the fine crystal on. Those, those things right there will eat some serious metal. Um, I'm going to put them or put that 44.5 micron so that's pretty damn coarse uh, about 310 grit then you've got the medium in India about 240 grit and this is all JIS and you can see the difference here's 240 and here's 240 this is ANSI this is JIS medium crystalline 180 
Coarse India, 120. Coarse Crystal on, 100. A Coarse Crystal on, I don't know if you guys have ever used one of them things, but they will destroy metal. Uh, they'll just eat it away. But uh, this is kind of a, a grit comparison here that I put together. Um, American versus Japanese. And guys, it can get confusing. As you just seen, I just confused myself and messed this up right here. Um, and guys, these these natural stones, they're they're always kind of a toss up. It's never going to be like I said, a pinpointed um, grit. Now the fine India, or the extra fine India, those are synthetic stones. They make them to say that it's a certain grit. That doesn't mean that you have to put that in your lineup the same way. You have got to use that stone and find out that scratch pattern, and see. Okay, is my soft Arkansas coarser or finer than this fine India just because it has a name doesn't mean anything it's how it fits in your lineup if you've got a soft Arkansas that you've lapped and it's finer than that fine India which it should be anyway or this fine India is finer than that because it hasn't been lapped or properly taken care of then if you've got them two backwards then you're just losing ground that you've already gained and putting a coarser edge on something that should be a finer edge if that makes sense uh, but guys what it boils down to is you've got to you've got to get you a good grit progression of stones um, and don't don't backpedal or backtrack uh, make sure that you're going a certain way and going the correct way a certain way and guys you can't always use the same uh, stone line up with one blade or a chisel or a plane as you can the other one um, for instance like you know like I said this thing right here I wouldn't want to completely polish it because it just doesn't work as well now if you get M390 and polish it all the way up it performs well with a polished edge this does okay but it's not super great um, but just my point here is don't backpedal uh, make sure you got a good line up and know what you're using um, guys if you got any questions or anything like that leave them down below um, if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe for more content coming I've got some other stuff coming up uh, it's going to be slowing down a little bit I've got a lot going on at work um, got a lot going on at home uh, and I'll put as much up as I can and my son's baseball season my youngest one he's been playing uh, t-ball he loves it but uh, guys I'll post what I can as I can hope y'all enjoy the video take her easy